Hi, and welcome to A Punk With Toys. My name is Lawrence, and today we're gonna take a look at another Plunderling. This one is the Fawn Grotu. Now, I don't know what it is. I just love these little things. I think they're cute, they're fun. They're just cool, cool toys. Um, I got this one from Big Bad Toys, and I will drop a link to that in the, in the description. But before we get started on this review, if you don't, if you don't mind, take a second, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button and hit the bell notification so you're notified whenever I do a toy review or any other type of video. So anyway, let's get on, get onto that, get off of that. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take a look at this guy, and again, the box is so cool. It's just like his face, it's not him being eaten. It's just his face, his big smile, and you see his teeth, and on the inside you can see the figure, and on top you can see where the two heads are at, and the two extra hands. On the back, there he is. It's the Fawn Grotu. He's just sitting there with a sword. He's admiring the moon. Super cool. And on the bottom, you see the little Fawn feet. So, anyway, um, let's open it up. I can take a look at him compared to the other Plunderlings. This one is $5 less. So, the Fawns are like $5 less than the regular Plunderlings. Um, who knows why? It makes you think like, there's a little bit less plastic. I don't know, but we're going to find out. Oh, shortly here, so let's take a look. All right, so here we have the box. And you can see the plunderlings through the big mouth. And there is a small little paragraph on the inside. And I've read this on the other two, so. It says, these toys were constructed and hand-painted with great care. Please carefully loosen the joints after unboxing. You may need to apply heat with a hairdryer. We hope, he, we hope playing with these brings you the same joy and happiness we felt we felt while making them we are extremely grateful to the fans that brought this project to life for more information visit plunderlings.com so it's on all of them i think it's just really cool it tells you a lot about the company and what they put into this um so i'm just gonna put these back on here so one of the reasons why I love this box is I just think it's super cool. I can get this thing on really quick. Here, I'm just kind of wasting everyone's time, but all right. So anyway, they all come with these ears, and you just fold them and you pop them in. And now the box is also another little character, and I've actually kept the other two boxes that I have. They just look super cool. I mean, there's just something about that that just says. This is fun. <laughs> They're all about having fun. I definitely enjoy it. Put this one on the wrong way. Yeah, there we go. Because it really doesn't matter. So there they are. Just the ears. Looks pretty cool. So anyway, get that out of the way. Now we'll take a look at the figure. So I don't believe I had to heat up any of these, but we will take our time. Uh, move up pretty easily. Bend pretty easily. Wrists, no issues. All right. I see thigh, sw thigh swivel. I don't know if that thigh swiveled or, yeah. No Jean-Claude Van Damme here. Double jointed knees. Now he is pretty tight. So I think I might need to take a second and go warm this one up. His leg popped off. Okay, so this goes right back on. No issues there. So definitely gonna have to heat this guy up. The other ones I don't remember being this tight, but he is extremely tight. So give me a second. Let me go warm him up so we can move him around. Yeah, he's his legs are tight. I don't know why everything else isn't. So who knows how long he's been sitting around. So give me a second and I will be back. Okay, so I'm back. I heated him up. Still having an issue with this leg. It's very tight. I was able to get it to move a little bit. There we go. So now it's starting to move. I think some of the issues may be just the way the fawn's legs. And if you know anything about how fawns are supposed to look or... Um, they're obviously based off the, I forget what they are, 
but their hooves and everything, their legs bow out differently than, let's say, how this guy is. So these are actually just completely different. And again, it's definitely going to make it a little bit more difficult to stand them because they're not a big uh, footprint here. And these ones I can definitely see using a stand to get them to stand. But the leg is kind of loose. It comes off. But it just pops right back on. So I'm not overly concerned about that. So. Anyway. I might actually have to contact BBTS about this one. I don't like doing that. Especially with a smaller company like this. But. Everything else seems to be moving fine. So as long as he's standing fine. But I can definitely see that there's some quality issues here where his leg just kind of popped off. And it goes on, but it's still, it's a little disappointing. But anyway, we'll get back to it. So they're going to stand kind of weird. These ones will at least. So there he is. I got him standing up now. Again, not a big footprint, so I'm definitely going to be using a stand for this guy. And we'll actually see how well his feet. So no issues getting the peg in there. That's not a problem. We'll kind of leave him on there for right now. So, can't take a look at his face. Obviously a different head sculpt. But they all have the same similar face. So... What they actually do is they pop on new ears. They pop on different ears. They use the same face sculpt. But the ears, this one obviously has these horns that, I'm not sure if they're part of the ears or if they actually go into the head. They must go in the head because it looks like it kind of divots in. Anyway, I'm regressing. I'm talking about that too much. So anyway, you got this nice eye paint. It looks really nice. You got the little teeth hanging out, but he doesn't look menacing. He looks happy and fun. He's got his painted fingernails. And he's got nice little hooves. Now, I'm going to guess there's not a magnet in this one. But these ones have a magnet. And I'll post a link to the other two videos that I did. So then we also have this other face. We has his smiling teeth. All his earrings, his antlers, and then you have this one here where it's kind of a close smiling face. Eyes all have nice little paint on them. So everything there looks really nice. Let's see here. Let me pop the hands off. He popped his head off. <laughs> Actually, if we look at the, if we look at it, so if you look down there, you can see the metal. So, they are magnetic. So, I bet there's other types of caps that he could put on his head. So, pop on a new hand. And now, you have a sword. I'm going to throw on this head. I have to say, this is the tightest one that I've had so far. The other two have actually come off really easily without any issues. And you even got, again, there's some paint that's coming off, probably from this hand. So it's definitely fully painted. I have to say this is by far the, the, the one I'm least, that I'm most disappointed in, that I'm least satisfied with. But I do like it. It's still pretty cool. I, I just, they're just, I don't know, they're just fun little toys. So here he has his flute so I'm trying to figure out let's see how can we make him I'm not really sure how we can make him like he's playing his flute hand comes off again hands come off really easily obviously the leg so the leg right now is kind of holding holding on As you can see how much I'm kind of moving around here I will say, posing any type of figure 
while you're sitting behind a phone <laughs> uh, isn't the easiest thing because you're not paying attention to the video. At least I'm not. So, here we go. But I don't know how to make him look like he's playing it. I guess I'll have to work on that. But, let's be honest. He's got a cool sword. He's got a cool sword, so... I really need to post... Right, so you're able to stand up fairly easily. This one's taking way too long. Wasn't expecting it to go on this long, so. But I do like these little figures. Again, everything is painted really nice. The sculpt is just, it's just really nice. Just a fun little figure to play with, so. Well, let's just wrap this up. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. The Plunderling Fawn. Grogu, you know, I wonder did they name this guy before Grogu? I mean, kind of gives you the same vibe, doesn't it? Um, but I gotta say, you know, this is um, I would say this is the most disappointing of the three that I've gotten. Though I'm not unhappy with it. I mean, the leg looks like it's starting to settle how it's supposed to. I just think the way like they're supposed to walk, that it's just awkward for them how they how they fabricated it. I'm not going to complain. I can get him to stand, you know, without the base. But I have a feeling that if I brush up against anything, uh, I might get knocked over. But again, they're fun little toys. 35 bucks, BBTS. I'll post a link to it. Um, and again, I think they'll fit with, like, Master of the Universe. Uh, especially, like, the classics. They just kind of would fit. Uh, Thundercats. Although they have way more articulation than any Super 7 that's ever been made. But... You know, that's not really hard, but I'm not going to go down the I Hate Super 7 road. Because you guys have probably already seen videos about that. <laughs> um, but again, three little face, three head sculpts. Again, all the head sculpts, there's three of them. They're all the same. But they change the ears. This one here, I think, is something's a little different. Where they're able to kind of put the horns connected to it. The horns are definitely... Connected to the ears. I just think they're super cool. The paint's really nice. I don't see any issues with that. Um, again, this one was really tight. He's the only one that I had to worry about. And it was only the legs. And I just, I just think that something about how they're fabricated makes them like that. You know, they're not pinless, but it is small. Again, small little company. So, but the more I play with it, the more... This leg is still really tight. There's just so much I can do. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna force it. Uh, I'm not gonna be getting him in too many types of crazy poses. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up. This video probably went on a little bit longer, but hey, you know what? Part of the reason why I do some of these videos is so, you know, I'm you're seeing it as I open it. So it's not live, but it is, first reaction and the first two plunderlings that I had I was very joyous and again I like this one it's cool it's not as cool as it's not as cool as Teal Captain Teal he's just cool by far still my favorite um, but they're just fun they're just cool they're small like I said you can put them with Thundercats I think you can put them with anything that's kind of like mystical I don't have any of the uh Full horseman stuff, but I guarantee you could probably fit them in there. Or if you just want something that looks kind of cool and it's kind of a put it on your desk in your office, and people go, "Hey, what is that thing?" And you make up your own story. So anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. As I mentioned before, if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit that bell notification so you're notified. I'll also drop a link to the group page, Punks with Toys. So you can post in this video. The socials, you know it. Instagram, a punk with toys. Twitter, a punk with the toy. Punk with the toy. And now I'm just making stuff up. A punk with toys. Instagram and Twitter. I've rambled on way too long. But if you've made it this far, for some odd reason, you enjoy my content. And that's crazy. But awesome. And I definitely appreciate it. So I'm going to get out of here. And as I always say, have a wonderful night.
Although this is going out pretty early, I think. But anyway, happy toy hunting.